Yo, 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 what it do? It's the boy Crown, man. In today's video, I want to talk about studio suites versus barbershops. You know what I'm saying? And get my little input on the pros and cons of both. Now, for me, I've been in the barber industry for about 12, 13 years. Um, my first time being at an actual barbershop, I was like 19. Um, I don't worked in like three barbershops. I've I've managed two barbershops and I've owned two suites. I've owned two suites. So I got a a good amount of time and experience with both situations to kind of put my input on it. All right, so the pros of being in a barbershop, bro. First of all, I advise any barbers that's just starting out to get into a barbershop. Don't try to go out here and do your own thing. Do not go and get no studio suite, bro. Because you're gonna need the clientele. The thing about being in a barbershop is that you go in, whether you're doing commission or booth rent, you pay your money, you get your money, you get on through. Now, if you're doing commission, you get a check. You know what I'm saying? You get commission, you get a check. Booth rent, you pay your money, you go home with your money, with, with the rest of your money. You know what I'm saying? Fairly simple. I suggest new people to go to barbershops because you're gonna need that walk-in traffic. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna need that walk-in traffic, man. Going out here trying to do shit on your own. It ain't but so many, you know what I'm saying, cars you can pass out, it ain't but so many flies you're gonna hand to people, you know what I'm saying? You need that 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 walk-in traffic to build clientele, period. You know what I'm saying? That's just one of those things. So I always, and also, you need the experience. You know what I'm saying? You need the experience of dealing with different type of people. You need the experience of customer service. You need the experience of, you know, working as a team. You know, you, um, all those things, man, that's important that builds you as a barber and builds your character. You feel me? It is very, very, very important. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to have to work with people regardless, whether you want to or not. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're on your own or not, you're going to have to deal with people. You're going to have to work with people. So it's very important. You're going to learn, you'll learn a lot from going into the barbershop and actually working. Um, as far as the studio suites, the studio suites, like I said, you want to be in a barbershop before you go in the studio suite because you're going to need the clientele. If you don't have no clientele, you're not going to make it in a studio suite, period. I'm going to tell you now. Um, you're going to kill yourself off, you know what I'm saying? Because there ain't going to be no people coming in, walking in, trying to get no haircuts. You know what I'm saying? You might have a select a few people that might, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you're not going to get a flow of people coming into studio suites. Most studio suites... Is majority of women in there. Barbershops are not the main source of studio suites. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have nail techs. You're going to have majority cosmetologists. You're going to have um, different people just doing different things. You know what I'm saying? Different styles. You feel me? So, like, it's mainly women. It's mainly cosmetology in these studio suites. So, when you go into these studio suites, make sure you have a clientele. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you have your clientele up. Make sure you got everything establish for yourself before you even jump into any studios straight up um also with studio suites you got to have your business license you got to have your salon license you got to have um you know all your paperwork intact you know what i'm saying like you can't like i know a lot of barbershops where they'll let you come in without a license and still make some money and things like that bro listen <laughs> these studio suites you're not going to go in these studio suites and not have your paperwork right. So make sure that your paperwork is up to date and your paperwork is right. Because if it's not, you're going to be out of there just as quick as you got there. You feel what I'm saying? And when those state boys come around, they're definitely going to hit you with them fines. So, you know, I, I grew up in that, uh, stay in that space where I've been in a barbershop full of unlicensed barbers you feel what i'm saying like for me i've i've worked as um when i started i was under a barber i was on ojt so for me 
I never really been in a barbershop without a license because once I did my on the, uh, on the job training and I did and I got my um, student license, after I had got my hours, I went straight to go take my test and got my license. So I never really been in the shop without my license. But I know plenty of barbers, plenty of barbers, plenty of barbers that be in barbershops and they be working and do not get their license. You know what I'm saying? You might can get away with it in a barbershop, but you're not going to get away with it. You know what I'm saying? In a studio suite. You know what I'm saying? So be on top of that. Also, with studio suites, <laughs> it's very private. That's one thing I like about studio suites that is very private. So if you have somebody that come in that's kind of um, embarrassed about their hair, you know what I'm saying? Whether they got patches, alopecia, or they got anything... Uh, irritating skin or dry scalp or whatever you can close your blinds you can close the door and give them that privacy that is a great thing for people people are more comfortable coming to the suite because of the privacy so that's another thing that that i like about um studios also you know we just coming off this pandemic so is also more sanitary. You know, if you keep your shop sanitized, it's also more sanitary because you don't have to be around a lot of people in all in people's faces and stuff like that. So that also is a, um, a pro for sure, like, of being in a studio with it. Barbershops. One thing I miss about the barbershop, bro, is when people used to come to the shop and sell whatever they got going on. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, that's why I say I love the barbershop culture, man. I love the barbershop, bro, because, like, people used to come in, bro. Man, when I was working in barbershops, bro, people used to come in with all types of stuff. Clothes, shoes, food, clippers, like, all type of things, man. It reminded me of the trap, bro. It reminded me of the trap, bro, when I used to be in the streets, bro. It just reminded me of all that energy, bro. And I used to love it, bro, because it's like I ain't have to always go to the store to get something, bro. Somebody will come through and CDs, DVDs, all that, you know what I'm saying? It's coming to the shop. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you're not really, really going to get a lot of that in studio suites. You're not going to really get a lot of that, man. Um, you know, you may get a few people come with some food here and there. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. But you're not really going to get that unless people know that you're there. So people are not going to come through unless they know you're already there. So that's the thing about that. Um, one of the things that I do miss about being in a barbershop. <sighs> but, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, those are some of the pros and cons which, with both. So... When people ask me, like, man, you think I should get a barbershop? You think I should do my own suite or you think I should go to the barbershop, man? Please, bro. If it's your first time jumping into this game, get in a barbershop ASAP. You feel what I'm saying? But if you're a vet in the game and you got your clientele up and you want to be more intimate with your clients and more personal and, you know, build better relationships, I ain't going to lie, being in that studio suite, it, it, it's the, it's the go-to. You know what I'm saying? Because... It's a lot of things that people are able to say that they wouldn't say in the barbershop because the barbershop be full of people. It's a lot of things that, you know what I'm saying, people are okay with coming through. Like even with, like, say, people like celebrities and whatnot. A celebrity will come to a studio before they come to a barbershop because they like, man, the barbershop got a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of celebrities don't want to have to go into the barbershop and then everybody trying to talk to them, everybody trying to take pictures and all that. They just want to get a haircut. You feel what I'm saying? And so that's why a lot of celebrities just be like, man, come to the crib. But if you got a studio suite, shit, they liable to come through the studio suite, man. You know what I'm saying? Good vibes. They get that 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 barbershop feel. And at the same time, get that privacy as well. So that's definitely, yeah, that's definitely a pro with that, man. Like, yeah, I, I rock with it. I rock with it. So right now for me, I'm in a studio suite. I here in Midtown Atlanta. I love it here. Great parking. <laughs> it's crazy. Like I think the parking is the biggest thing for me because in Atlanta, if anybody ever been in Atlanta, bro, they know, nigga. You got to pay for parking, and there's barely any parking. 
You know what I'm saying? So where I'm where I'm located, we got a big parking lot. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to pay for it, none of that. Just pull up. So it's perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's perfect. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, man, I rock with it. Like I said, sometimes I, I miss the barbershop sometimes. I miss the vibes. I miss the interactions. I miss the interaction with other barbers sometimes. You know, things like that. But the studio suite for me and where I'm at in my career is perfect for, for me. So hope that helped y'all out on y'all making y'all decision on what y'all decide to do as far as barbershop or studio suite make sure you like comment this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel man i'm about to be dropping some more heat dropping some more videos um i'm working on some production stuff right now so i can get more videos to y'all so just stay tuned man stay tuned and I'm going to keep putting out that content. You feel me? Follow me on Instagram as well, Top of the Crown. You feel me? We're going to keep dropping content for y'all, man. So.